The spark of life, from spinning light to conscious being, written in the language of light, before time began, before space unfolded, there was light. Not the kind we see, but pure quantum information, spinning quantum state vectors, or QSVs. Each was a tiny arrow of energy, spinning at exactly the speed of light, encoding all fundamental quantities, amplitude, angular frequency, phase, and wave vector. This infinite landscape of all possible QSVs is Hilbert space, what physicists call the singularity. This singularity is not a location, it is the total mathematical field of all potential quantum realities. It is a canvas made of light. Each QSV is entangled with a qubit on the event horizon, the cosmic screen at the boundary of our observable universe. At every tick of Planck time, these QSVs project outward from Hilbert space through Hawking radiation, which collapses the wave function and imprints light's geometry onto the holographic screen. This screen is not metaphor, it is the event horizon, made of Planck scale pixels of information. Hawking radiation spins at light speed. From its perspective, all events are simultaneous, there is no time or distance. This projection mechanism transforms a timeless, non-local field of possibility into a living, local world. It is the foundation of everything, atoms, molecules, forces, consciousness. The universe is a quantum hologram, updated at Planck scale intervals by a vast quantum information processor. Only special frequencies endure through this projection, those that resist decoherence. These are defined by the prime numbers, mod 30. They form the basis of the periodic table the geometry of DNA, the harmonics of stars and stable matter. Within your cells, mitochondria harness this information. They absorb the angular frequency of spinning protons, QSVs with charge, and convert it into chemical energy, ATP, the molecule that powers life. Mitochondria are quantum turbines. The proton gradient across their membranes is not just chemistry, it is spin difference, a phase alignment of QSVs. This spin-induced potential transforms into energy, and this energy powers your heartbeats, your thoughts, your movements. But how is this energy converted into movement? Let's walk through it step by step. Spinning QSVs in protons. Protons pumped across the mitochondrial membrane create a gradient of QSVs with differing spin orientations, each holding angular momentum, ATP, synthase, rotor. These spinning protons re-enter through a rotary engine called ATP synthase. As they pass through, their angular momentum physically rotates part of the enzyme. Mechanical rotation. This rotation is mechanical. It's like a turbine turning. The spinning light exerts torque, causing the ATP synthase stalk to twist. Chemical conversion. As it turns, ATP synthase brings ADP and phosphate together in its active site, using mechanical pressure to form ATP, the energy currency of the cell. Delivery of energy. ATP then travels to parts of the cell where motor proteins like kinesin and myosin operate. These proteins walk along filaments using ATP, changing shape with each step. Muscle contraction. In muscles, this ATP powers the myosin heads to attach, pivot and release actin filaments. This is what causes your muscles to contract. In quantum terms, these biological machines are reading angular momentum directly from the QSV field, translating spin to torque to shape change to motion in equations W equals the integral of F dot dx, which leads to W equals h bar times the integral of omega of T dt, where F is quantum force induced by spin alignment dx is the micro distance moved by motor proteins. Omega of t is the time varying spin from the QSV field. In plain terms, spinning light exerts force on matter, which causes geometry to shift, which results in movement. That's how you blink, breathe and dance. In the brain, a more refined quantum structure emerges. Microtubules, cylindrical proteins inside your neurons, resonate with the interference patterns of the QSV field. They perform a Fourier transform, decoding light spin geometry into experience. Thought alters the spin geometry. Intention is not just a chemical change, it is a reconfiguration of spin alignment. Your awareness feeds back into Hilbert space, altering the next projection. Your hand moves because your brain realigns the QSVs that encode its geometry. Your life flows because light spins. What you perceive as solid matter, your screen, your body, the water, is not truly solid. It is a field of spinning light on qubits being decoded by your brain. The sparkle on water is the derivative, a region where light's interference is changing most rapidly. Your brain reads this using the fundamental theorem of calculus encoded in geometry. 
The derivative reveals force, motion, and change. The integral reveals shape, structure, and accumulated form. Everything you experience is a real-time Fourier transform of light performed by the microtubules inside your neurons, etched by Hawking radiation onto the cosmic hologram. The full equation of this universe is written not in metaphors but in the precise language of mathematics. Reality of x and t equals the sum over p of s sub p times e to the power of i times the quantity k sub p dot x minus omega sub p times t plus phi. This is the master equation of QIH. It governs your atoms, your DNA, your memory, your motion. It unites Einstein's curvature with Schrodinger's quantum evolution and binds them through the Fourier transform, which turns light into reality. The singularity is the code. The event horizon is the screen, and you are the projection. You are a stabilized standing wave in an infinite field of light. You are the geometry of spin written in real time by entanglement and hawking radiation. You are the conscious expression of space-time's own rhythm. You are the spark and you are now awakening.